We share the planet with over 8 million species of animals. Some are very big, others very small. Some animals are very fast and some are slow. They come in many different shapes and many different colors. Some are beautiful, some not so much. Animals can seem very friendly or maybe a bit scary. Sometimes an animal can look funny and sometimes an animal can just look weird. But no matter what the shape and size, animals are cool. From the earliest time in our history, people have used animals in art. Artists depicted animals for many reasons. Because of their connection to nature, animals were seen by some people as having special powers. In some societies, it was thought that the spirit of the animal could offer protection or ensure good hunting. Sometimes artists would study animals and drew them for scientific record keeping. Animals became symbols in a culture or a display of strength. Other artists were simply fascinated with the wide variety of animals and wanted to express the beauty of nature. Today, artists continue to be inspired by animals. George Rodriguez was born in Louisiana in the USA. He began his career as an artist painting landscapes and scenes from the history of Louisiana. In 1984, he was invited to do an illustration for a book of Cajun ghost stories. George chose the legend of the Loup Garou, a kind of werewolf who supposedly stalked the swamps. As his model, he used his dog Tiffany. The paintings of Tiffany became known as his Blue Dog series, and George painted them for the next 30 years. Using wood and other natural materials that she found on her Montana farm, Deborah Butterfield began a series of sculptures about horses. Her sculptures have an open feeling, which merge with the surrounding environment. Eventually, Deborah began using scrap metal to form her sculptures. She tries to capture the calm and elegance of her subjects. Chinese artist Sai Guoqiang makes life-sized reproductions of various animals for large-scale artworks known as installations. In his installation Head On, 99 wolves run through the air only to crash into a glass wall. The wolves then return to the line to try again to make it through. Sai's artwork is meant to show how we must have the courage to continue even when we face obstacles. In his installation Falling Back to Earth, both predator and prey peacefully drink together from a large pond. This represents Sai's wish that we would return to harmony between man and nature. In the 1970s, photographer William Wegman began using his dog Man Ray in a series of photographs and videos. Man Ray was the perfect model as he was patient and stood still. In 1982, Man Ray passed away. It would be four years before William got a new dog, Fay Ray, and began photographing her. She later had puppies, and they all found their way into William's artwork. Jane Quick to See Smith is a Native American artist who is also concerned for the rights of her people. Her abstract paintings use traditional Native American symbols. Jane feels that the misuse of these symbols in the popular media has created misconceptions about Native Americans. She contrasts these symbols with images from modern society to create powerful messages about injustice and abuse. Hung Yi was a restaurant owner from Taiwan who, in 2002, decided to pursue his dream of becoming an artist. His large sculptures of animals combine the patterns from Taiwanese folk culture with the artist's own personal experiences. These Taiwanese motifs are meant to bring good luck, and Hung Yi exhibits his work all over Asia. In 2016, he brought his sculptures to the U.S. to share his art and the good luck with the people of America. Through rapid population growth and a competition for space and resources, our relationship with animals has become strained. Some animal species are disappearing, and we must take care to protect those that are left. These six artists show that the relationship between animals and humans is still a rich source of artistic inspiration.